Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to Snow Vision. Today, we're out here on the water. The Mach 2 Generation 3 just came in. It is a beautiful little reel. If you haven't seen it on my Instagram, go check that out on Snow Vision as well. I have this on a 7.2, 6 cents movement, uh, medium heavy fast action. It's got the full grip, beautiful color. They actually go well together color wise. So, other than that, uh, we're just out here. We're going to just talk about some jigs today, um, what I use for the winter time, and just some other little handy dandy things that I have uh, that I carry around in my bag. Once we get to that, let's get to talking about that. Also, trying out my new camera. My wife got me a new camera this for Christmas, so I definitely want to try that out, see how that works. Yeah. All right, let's get to talking. For, uh, first addition to my go bag is Bass Mafia's uh, Terminal Coffin. Amazing little setup here. I've got, got pretty much everything set up the way I wanted it, the way I need it. So it's literally from two odd hooks to four odd hooks just for my creature baits and whatnot. I have nothing but Wicked Weights quality Tuscan weights is what I have in my in my weight in my little weight coffins. Yeah, if you want to check that out, that's pretty amazing little uh, setup here. So I got this because I wanted to stay a little bit more organized with everything that I have going on, especially just running out bank running and fishing and stuff so just wanted to get that out there and try this just want to talk about a few of my jigs that i carry around fall is the main time that i i, I like to use my jigs three fourths ounce booyah jig with the rattle on it uh the watermelon crawl color these are amazing little jigs here and i do have my quarter ounce jig uh just a small football jig that i use as well can't remember where I got this guy from, but I haven't used him yet, but I just love the pattern on that, where it'll just sit and bob on the bottom, tail straight up in the air. I think that's that's a good little factor, especially during fall and winter time, since the fish is uh, less active. So, but during the fall and early springtime, these little itsy bitsy booyahs are phenomenal. I go through these things like, this is nothing. I have them on backup. Like, there's one and there's two. So, yeah, I literally keep them on hand at all times. Another great factor for my arsenal is the ball head jig. This, this one alone with the Kai Tech, I have definitely caught quite a few fish with that. Surprisingly, I have not lost it since it has an exposed hook. That's just a few of my jigs. Uh, there's great ways to swim them obviously the football jigs you want to let them hit that bottom and just bounce them uh i'd pause three to five seconds in between uh colder seasons like now i wait maybe 10 15 seconds sometimes probably a minute just popping it around just what they call it the the cigarette jig you know smoke your cigarette let it pop same thing with the ned rig same same thing whenever using jigs you also want to pair them up with the perfect trailer and for me strike king green pumpkin black gold and purple it is a a sparkly little craw it is so all we're doing is lining her up finding the exit point where the hook's gonna be coming out so make sure you get it lined up perfectly you can push a little jig down slide her in Push her through, hook it out the bottom. And once you get that lined up, straighten her out. And now she is done, beautiful straight. It's come out exactly where we was looking for. All right, and almost a damn good match. She's got good weight to it. This is the, like I said, the three eighths ounce. Three -eighths ounce. That's mostly what I fish with anyways. Flipping jigs are gonna be three eighths to three quarter, but nine times out of 10, everything's gonna be three eighths for me. That's just my preference. That's just what I like to fish with. Um, that's what I've caught most of my fish with. So uh, I'll stray from it for certain things, say the football jig, flipping jig, but my swims and structures, my finesse, eh, I'll randomly get those. 
but I just stick with what I know. Sometimes I'll step out of my element and try different things, uh, different weights, different sizes, different trailers, uh, which I do recommend, but I, I rarely do it myself. But when I do, I do have amazing results. So other than that, we're gonna call it a day here. Uh, starting to rain a little bit of icicles. I'm not dressed for that. I'm not dressed for 50 degree weather, which it is, but it's a little bit colder than I expected. So other than that, thank you guys for watching Snow Vision. Thank you for liking, subscribing if you have, have not already. I appreciate that, I really, really do. Other than that, you guys have a great winter. Happy holidays, happy new years, all that great stuff. See you next time.